the world generates a lot of data and we ourselves are flooded with so much of information maybe information or data or knowledge from that information and so on but we interact with information easily and seamlessly on a daily basis based on the structural type in which we store the information we manipulate it and use it for our own desire so databases were used to organize information long before the computer age for example the sumerian tablet during the egyptian civilization is an index of medical prescriptions but when computers were born the computers allowed databases to be automated the management and manipulation of databases to be automated the early computer databases followed a flat file model which was a simple consecutive list of records but this format required that computers begin every search at the start of the list and search sequentially this was a slow way to search and maintain large volumes of records so new faster databases were needed that were expandable reliable and efficient the relational database in the mid 60s was introduced by ibm first of all uh, ibm used a hierarchical model for their information management system popularly known as the ims this had a tree like structure where the parent nodes had access to their child nodes through pointers the ibm's ims also used a similar model it was successful and it was also used by nasa to manage drawings for the lunar lander and so on a more flexible network model was developed by charles bachman now child models could have multiple parents but as the database got complicated it was too hard to manage all those pointers then came Ted Codd, a computer scientist at IBM, who had a better idea of the relational database model, which he first proposed in 1970. He organized the data, in fact, some related data, into tables, and there was no need for pointers to be handled or to be manipulated. This made it easier to access, merge, and change data. Then later came a uh, C.J. Date. an IBM instructor and author who was convinced that the relational database was a pretty good model then cord and date wrote papers and also lectured and debated its merits but cord's relational database competed with other IBM products so IBM was reluctant and slow to support the new idea of ingress which was uh, of course cord's model In 1973 Michael Stonebreaker's team at UC Berkeley used uh, Codd's ideas to create the Ingress relational database making it freely available for a modest fee so several companies used it as the basis for successful commercial products but it took until 1975 for IBM to produce an experimental relational database named System R it used a structured query language sql developed by ibm's don chamberlin and raymond boys to search and modify data a young entrepreneur named larry ellison of oracle was also intrigued with uh, cards ideas in 1977 he put up nearly 2000 dollars of his own money to start a startup company with bob miner and oats Their mission was to develop and sell the first commercially available relational database compatible with IBM System R. Their flagship product was Oracle, so the popular database which you use now, which was shipped in 1979. The first version ran on many computers, but by 1983, the company had rewritten it to run on many more computer systems, including IBM's PCs and mainframes. Oracle quickly became profitable in 1983. IBM finally released a full-fledged commercial relational database DB2 for mainframes but it was too late for IBM to dominate the mini computer market and Oracle was already selling to IBM's customers Oracle had adapted Codd's relational database concept early when his own employer that's IBM's own employer wouldn't and Oracle became one of the largest software companies in the world 
Its success helped relational database become the way much of our computer data is organized nowadays. So this is a short and a brief history or evolution of how uh, databases and database vendors come into picture. But after this, the revolution is completely different. It was a big exponential uh, stride, whether working or communicating or shopping or relaxing, nearly everywhere we go, data is organized and made accessible. So many of the technologies and developments in the field of the conceptual way we store and the field of transmitting data, the field of handling data, the field of storing data, everything has improved drastically that made more kinds of databases like cloud databases, grid databases, distributed environments of databases and such more paradigms of database processing has come up. So in this course, we will gradually go through the basic and fundamentals of databases and also an overview of current technologies.